Welcome to Aarti's Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve practice set 29. In this practice set, we have total 9 questions and we are going to solve them by 2 videos. These are the problems based on unitary method. What do you mean by unitary method? A unitary method means Find the cost of one article from that of many by division and then finding the cost of many articles from that of one by multiplication. This method of solving a problem is called the unitary method. In this method, we are going to use two operations that are division and multiplication. By these two operations, we are going to solve all these type of questions. They are so easy. You just have to recite your tables very well. Then you can solve it easily. Now let's look. Solve the following. The first question is, if 20 meters of cloth cost rupees 3600 find the cost of 16 meter of cloth here they gives us a cost of 20 meter cloth that is rupees 3600 and we have to find out the cost of 16 meter of cloth so here First of all, we are going to find the cost of 1 meter cloth and then we have to find our answer. How to solve it? Let's look. The first question's answer is, first of all, write the given information that is 20 meter of cloth cost rupees 3600. 20 meter cloth have the cost rupees 3600 and we have to find out 16 meter cloth's cost. Here we are going to do first of all division then we can find the answer of 1 meter cloth's price. For it, we have to divide 3600 by 20. 20 because 20 meter cloth cost rupees 3600. So here we are going to divide it 3600 by 20. So we can easily find out the cost of 1 meter cloth. Right here just cost of 1 meter cloth is equal to let's divide it 0 are cancelled here divide 360 by 2 2 ones are 2 then 1 each remains here now the number becomes 16 2 8 the 16 and 0. Here the answer is 180 rupees. This is the cost of 1 meter cloth. You can find it like this also. 3600 divided by 20. Then write the table of 20. And then you can easily find it by this method also. The answer is 180 rupees. So the cost of 1 meter cloth is rupees 180. Now we, we have to find out the cost of 16 meter cloth. This is our main question. Let's write the cost 
of 16 meter cloth is equal to for it we have to multiply 1 meter cloth cost and how many meters we have to require we have to require the cost of 16 meter cloth and 1 meter cloth cost is 180 let's multiply these two numbers 16 zero za 0 16 8 za 128 12 is carry forward 16 ones are 16 so 16 plus 12 is 28 now the answer is rupees 2880 so the cost of 16 meter cloth is rupees 2880 look it's very easy first of all we are going to divide and then we are going to multiply when you solve more questions you find it easy now let's look towards the second question the question is find the cost of 8 kg of rice if the cost of 10 kg is rupees 325 here they give on the cost of 10 kg rice and we have to find out the cost of 8 kg rice same method we are going to do here second question's answer is first of all write the given information that 10 kg rice cost rupees 325 and we have to find out the cost of 8 kg rice here first of all we have to find out the cost of 1 kg rice for it we are going to divide 325 by 10 the answer is 32.5 we learnt about decimal fractions and how we can write them by using decimal point. So I use this method here. You can divide it by like this. Now the cost of 1 kg rice is 32.5 rupees. Let's find the cost of 8 kg rice for it we have to multiply rupees 32.5 by 8 kg so let's multiply here 32.5 multiplied by 8 multiply it like this 30 325 by 8 ignore the decimal ignore the decimal point 8 5 is a 40 4 is carry forward 8 to the 16 plus 4 it's a 20 2 is carry forward 8 3 is a 24 plus 2 it's a 26 Now we have to give here a decimal point here. So the cost of 8 kg rice 
is rupees 260 this is our answer for second question now let's look to the third question the question is if 14 chairs cost rupees 5992 how much will have to be paid for rupees 12 chairs here first of all we are going to find the cost of one chair and then we are going to find the 12 chairs cost so the given information is 14 chairs cost rupees 5992 let's write it in our notebook you have to write the questions from your book and then write the answer in your notebook 14 chairs cost rupees 14 chairs for rupees 5992 and we have to find out the cost or how, how much amount will be paid for 12 chairs let's find it first of all we are going to find the cost of one chair for it we are going to divide 5992 that is the cost of 14 chairs by 14 Let's divide it. 14 folds are 56. 3 are remains here. Now 39. 14 twos are 28. 39 minus 28. It's a 11. And here is 1. Here is 2. Uh, now the number is 112 14 8s are 112 so the cost of one chair is rupees 428 now let's find the cost of 12 chairs For it, we are going to multiply 428 by 12. Let's multiply it. 428 multiply by 12. 12 is 96. 9 is carry forward. 12 to the 24 plus 9. It's a 33. 3 is carry forward. And 12 for the 48 plus 3, it's a 51. So the multiplication here is 5136 and this is the cost of 12 chair. So, rupees. 5136 will have to pay for 12 chairs this is the answer for third question now the fourth question is the weight of 30 boxes is 6 kg. What is the weight of 1080 such boxes? 30 boxes weight is 6 kg. We, we have to find out the first of all one box weight. For each we are going to divide and then we are going to find out 1080 boxes weight. Let's find it. So the fourth question's answer is, first of all write the 
given information that is 30 boxes have the weight 6 kg means 6 into 1000 6000 grams 1 kilogram have 1000 gram so I multiply here by 6 into 1000 it's a 6000 gram it is easy to us for dividing and we have to find out the weight of 1080 boxes so first of all fix in your mind that when we are going to find one from many we have to divide and then when we have to find many from one we have to multiply so here to find the weight of one box we are going to divide 6000 grams by 30 boxes remove the zeros 3 ones are 3 and 3 two are 6 the answer is 200 is 200 grams now let's find the weight for 1080 boxes for it we are going to multiply these 200 grams by 1080 let's multiply it Two hundred zero the zero two hundred eight the two hundred eight the one thousand six hundred so zero we have to write here and one hundred sixty are carry forward then two hundred zero the zero plus one hundred sixty it's 160 now here 16 is carry forward 200 ones are 200 plus 16 it's a 216 now the answer is 2 lakh 16 thousand these are grams let's divide them by thousand so we can find it in kg divided by 1000 cancel 0 here our answer is 216 kilogram so 1080 boxes have the weight 216 kg this is the answer for fourth question in next video we are going to find the remaining questions answer Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in next video.